Greetings and welcome back to another episode of Itadakimasu. This week we're trying some... You're Chad and I'm Justin. This is ice cream. <laughs> ice cream! <laughs> oh yeah, I guess I'm Chad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so uh, what's this ice cream? So first of all, this is just an excuse to eat a whole bunch of ice cream for mm. no reason at all. What? We're doing this for scientific purposes here. Okay. For the this video. For no reason. Really, we're gonna eat way too much ice cream in one day <laughs> just because we want to. This is coffee ole. That's about all I understand. It's coffee ole. In the shape of like a fudgical, but it smells very much like coffee. It smells vaguely of coffee. Yeah. Vaguely? I would say vaguely. I think it smells like a Starbucks. Well, if you smell my wife's coffee, this <clears throat> smells vaguely of coffee. I okay, swear, okay. coffee's real strong. It smells yummy. I think we're gonna enjoy this one. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So in Japan, there are a lot of weird kinds of ice cream. We didn't find a lot of weird ones when we went to the store today. They're, yeah, these are fairly standard. Yeah, I mean, standard affair. A little bit different than maybe you could get at the store in the states, but there are like sweet potato ones mm. and all kinds of stuff, and we just didn't find that today. So, man, the sweet potato is so good. It is really yummy. So <laughs> I was hoping we'd find the one. There's one particular one I really like, and I wish we had that one, but maybe next time. So, so this one, man, the color, I don't know. It just it's, looks like frozen coffee to me. Man. Yeah, the color is not turning me on with this one. <laughs> well, let's eat it and see. You want to see, dog? You don't even like coffee, probably. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> eat that uh, right, dog. Sauce. Mm -hmm. It tastes like cheap coffee. Cheap frozen, <laughs> cheap frozen coffee. Cheap frozen coffee. Not Actually, black coffee though. Almost. It's not quite sweet enough for me. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like coffee with two sugar cubes, and it needs like four. Mm. Okay. Well, it's not very creamy. It's very very icy. It's yeah, just like frozen, it's coffee. frozen coffee. It's coffee. like frozen water. Well, the question is, do you think there's any in here? You think maybe this is just the outside and there's something There is something inside? in here. You can tell it's like layered. So there's an outside coating I of can't something. Tell you. you never taken a big enough bite. I guess. Oh shit. I mean ice cream down. Ice it. cream down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There is I take back all the stuff I said before. There's a sweet condensed milk in the middle of this damn thing. <laughs> it just dripped all over my leg. Uh, and the puppies were pretty happy about they it. They almost got it. I didn't let them get it. <laughs> so there is actually a sweet condensed milk type of thing in the middle. You probably can't see it, but it makes everything better. It makes it creamier. It makes it sweeter. I think mine's missing. I think you just haven't hit it yet. Mine's missing that creamy center. Mm, pretty good though. <laughs> that changed my mind about this whole thing. Okay, I just got a little bit. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty good. So I was, first I was leaning towards I wouldn't buy this again. Now I think I probably like this thing, it's pretty good. <laughs> like if you put this, if you took it off the stick and crushed it up into a bowl and mixed it into more like a um, soft cream consistency, like a soft serve ice cream, that would probably be delicious. Yeah, so the cream in the center isn't frozen like the ice cream. No, it's real milky, it's real liquidy. That's interesting. Oh. Interesting science. Okay, well we're droning on about this too long. What do you think? Uh, I'm gonna say I like it. I would recommend it if you like coffee. Not necessarily coffee ice cream, because it doesn't really taste like traditional coffee ice cream. Yeah, not at all. But if you like coffee, I recommend it. If you like iced coffee, this is just a little bit colder than iced coffee. <laughs> and with the stuff in the middle, it's pretty, there's a good novelty factor there. I like it. I would say try it, yeah. You gotta recommend? If you don't absolutely hate coffee, if you could do like a real sweet sugary coffee and be happy, go ahead and try this, it's pretty good. All right, so for number two, we've got Coolish. So Coolish is just like a brand name, right? Mm -hmm. Like a type of ice cream? Yeah. Because there's a lot of different Coolish flavors. And Coolish is one of my favorite things in Japan. So it's basically like melty ice cream in a pouch. <laughs> in a pouch. And when you first get it, it's real hard. You usually got to break it apart with your hands. We let it melt for a second here before we did it. So we're good. There's a lot of different flavors. This one smells fruity. This is a mango one. Ah, mango coolish. As you can tell from the picture of the mango-y looking thing, and it says mango, so. Let's see if I can get this to actually come out. Now, I don't usually even like mango, <laughs> but anything Coolish makes, I usually approve of. They make a lot of good ones. They have like coffee and 
uh, the, the, they have a normal type which is just vanilla or chocolate but then they make these seasonal this. ones which are really good this is kind of a seasonal one I think so yeah interesting mine's gonna drip um, itadakimasu uh, itadakimasu <laughs> I'm trying to get mine out come on so usually the plug the plug will have like one hard piece of ice in there that you gotta push out before you're good so now you're good there you go so it smells ultra fruity and mangoey. Mm. That is certainly a mango flavor. Mm -hmm. There's no mistake. Very sweet. That. It's really good. These are awesome. It's better than one of the mango frappuccinos from Starbucks. It's a little bit sweeter. Never had one, so I can't. But otherwise comparable. <laughs> I like them. I get them a lot. Uh, I think I'm not a huge fan of mangoes. I'm not either. This is really good though. Mm -hmm. Probably because it's got way more sugar in it than <laughs> yeah. a regular, regular mango treat. So Coolish is a very fun way to eat ice cream in Japan. Uh, I don't know if they have anything like this in the States. I don't I imagine don't so. But ever since I've been here, this has been one of my go-to things. There's a couple of that like go-to ones. One of them we could have bought, but we didn't because it's not really weird. A little bit unique, but it's Poppyco. And you break apart these little coffee flavored things. But this one... Very good. I would recommend this to anybody, anytime. Yeah, it does taste real good. I'd say a potential downside is that you're holding this freezing bag in your hands. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. So it gets your fingers kind of cold, but I guess on a hot day, that would be all right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just going to say... Well, let me hold this icy bag. It's funny, in the States, I was the same way with Slurpees. If it was... Until it got hot in the summertime. I didn't want a Slurpee. I don't care about Slurpees. And then the day it's like super hot outside, I'm dying for a Slurpee. Like I'm craving a Slurpee. And it's the same with these. You've been conditioned. Mm -hmm. So I haven't had a Coolish all winter long. It's just getting hot this week in Japan. Mm. And I had one of these last night. Not a mango one. I don't remember what it was. Something else. Ice cream two days in a row? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that will explain my fat boy. <laughs> my finger. <laughs> but yeah. This uh, was something I was happy to buy today too. I'll, I'll continue to buy coolers throughout the very hot and humid uh, Japanese summertime. Uh, it's going to be a bad one this summer. It's going to be nasty. Yeah. It's already mosquitoes and everything. <laughs> yeah. so, it's only made. Thumbs up, recommend, absolutely try this if you come to Japan. Even if it's winter time because these are good. I would also uh, recommend it is really good and there are a lot of different coolish flavors. So mm -hmm. you could go just buck wild, try just different coolish flavors and probably not run into a bad one. I never have. Yep, it's good stuff. Go, go, go. Mm. All right, for our third one, yeah. we have, this is a little bit hard to describe. It's unique looking, so it's a yeah. like an ice cream cone or like a waffle cone outside. And it's filled with green tea matcha. flavored ice cream. Yeah, matcha. matcha. So matcha is like the powdery green tea that you had matcha what it's just the powder before it's green tea i don't know i guess so Sounds it's good to me. very very strong flavor green tea and this looks like it has beans in it too maybe yeah the picture looks like i'm inclined to believe there's some bean paste in here yeah, probably so which is not surprising because there's bean paste in everything <laughs> pretty much and this is actual size right here it's not that big it's about the size of a little ego mm -hmm. it's very lightweight so it's there's lightweight. mostly waffle cone here and not so much ice cream maybe is what i'm led to believe i don't know but yes. green tea is a really popular flavor in Japan for anything. So ice cream, yeah. not a surprise. You're going to see this in ice cream everywhere. Uh, yeah. Actually, yeah, between, if you go to the store or if you go to a restaurant and they have like an ice cream bar, which is a thing that it, that's a lot of stores in Japan have that, uh, there'll always be a green ice cream. And it's going to either be matcha flavor or it's going to be melon flavor. Oh, uh, okay. Melon is another really Like the melon one. soda. Yes. My favorite. <laughs> melon soda for you. A little bit sweet. All right, so I broke it in half, and sure enough, bean paste. It just smells like waffle, though. I don't smell any tea. Yeah, it smells like ice cream cone. But it is frozen, so <laughs> kind of hard to smell frozen stuff. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> you almost had it there. You almost got some, huh? Yeah, you know, jar sit in the right position. <laughs> yeah. you get some. All right, eat it like Hmm. Yep. <laughs> So the, despite the incredible amount of sugar that's probably in here, yeah. the matcha is so strong that it tastes bitter. It's a really bitter green tea taste to me. It definitely tastes like green tea, mm -hmm. but not like green tea ice cream. Because <laughs> you can get like the green tea soft serve, and that's really good. That's Very like sweet. a nice sweet but it is ice good. cream with a green tea flavor. Yeah. 
But this just tastes like green tea. Is like a frozen green tea powder, with an ice cream consistency. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost fluffy. It's like it's a it's a pretty light. It's not a really dense ice cream, and that probably is due to mm. how much green tea powder is in it. Yeah. I would guess. Yeah, pretty fluffy, fluffy ice cream. I don't know if this is this isn't the type of bean paste we're used to either. Though this looks more like a jelly bean paste. Yeah, it seems almost sweeter too. Yeah, than... it tastes similar, but it doesn't have. The consistency normally the bean paste has a lot of the like bean shell and the uh, texture no i just had a big piece of the green of the bean, bean paste bean paste and it tastes like bean paste yeah pretty much <laughs> okay well they tricked us for a second <laughs> but on second thought that's a pretty strong bean taste flavor it's not as heavy as it normally is normally if there's bean paste in something that's like a big wad a gob of it in there and this is pretty light it's just like a layer on the top of the ice cream so Unnecessary, but <laughs> <laughs> depends. Each is on. I think overall, uh, I don't hate this. This is okay. Uh, it's definitely unique. Mm -hmm. Very uh, Japanese. Yeah, absolutely. You'll so never Japanese. find anything like this in America. Well, I don't know. We haven't been back in so long. I guess that's true. It could I did be just, everywhere. Now. I just I saw know. a thing on the news about how matcha is a superfood, but I doubt ice cream falls into the category hmm. of superfood, <laughs> unless you're talking super awesome and yummy. But I would say. That's a good point. This might be recommendable just to try it. I don't love it. Yeah. I probably won't buy this again. Yeah, if you were coming here to try out some different ice creams, I would definitely recommend a green tea ice cream. Mm -hmm. This green tea ice cream? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I definitely recommend a green tea ice cream. And what, what brand is this? The G-L-I-C-O Glico. Glico, Glico brand. Yeah. So I don't know if I'd try the Nico brand matcha <laughs> ice cream, but you should have to try it. Well, I mean, I don't, even at Starbucks, I don't know if in the States they have the green tea frappuccino at Starbucks, but here it's a thing. Mm -hmm. And it's similar, very, even though it has a lot of sugar, it's a little bit bitter uh, and very green tea flavor. Mm -hmm. So matcha, matcha. Yeah. Matcha ice cream. I'm going to say meh for me. <laughs> meh. Ooh, meh. Yeah, I'm not really going to tell you to go out and buy this but it is unique you know if you want to try some unique Japanese ice cream go ahead yeah I'd say this particular one is fairly mad mm -hmm. but green tea ice cream in general is definitely a recommend for yeah. me you should definitely give it a shot I will agree with you all right we agree pretty good all right thanks for watching another episode of Eats Dakimas where we tried some interesting Japanese ice cream and stay tuned for more interesting Japanese foods next week. Until then, sayonara. sayonara.